right, so we're back with another weekly update for Blade Ball. And I'm not gonna lie, man, this one is a little late. It is now Sunday night. Usually we get the updates on Saturday. But if I turn my camera around, you guys will see that we've got the elemental swords here that I showed you guys two days ago now if you guys went ahead and saw that video then you more than likely already seen all of the swords there has been a lot of changes like you can now see the animation of every single one of the swords so if you notice here we're looking at the thunder blade but then over here on the right side if i click on c5 out of five sword it'll switch it to the voltage which is what you'll receive if you go ahead and spin this sword five times so yeah a couple of things have changed but for the best and if you guys notice on the top left hand side the image for receiving five of every single one of these so wind water as well as lightning is the single-handed elemental sword we're going to be going after that one but don't worry there still is a dual wielding sword in the game which hopefully i'll be able to show you guys in today's video because if you have not noticed on the bottom right hand side we have 300 rolls of every single one i told you guys in my last video we were gonna go broke and bankrupt but i'm getting those dual wielded swords now one section that wasn't available when i actually showed you guys in the last video is the quest area so this is how you free to play players are going to be able to get your hands on some of these spins without spending any robux so if you notice here each one of them are coordinated to their corresponding sword so the first one is playtime you will be getting these passively pretty much as long as you are in the game and you will receive one water spin every single time that you complete the play time same concept goes for lightning and wind except that those are obviously for kills and wins and i will say man i'm very very happy that they included this allowing you guys the free to play players to be able to do something even if it does mean that you need to put a little more time into the game i think this is a good move but now we're gonna do a complete 360 here because i'm sure you guys have noticed that there's no brand new ability in the game and while this is a hundred percent true there's also something else that you may be over looking if we go over to the halloween spins over here you will now notice that for the most part this screen right here is the exact same except for one interesting button that is right over here which allows me to upgrade my phantom now, obviously i'm not able to do this right this very second because in order to accomplish this you will need to go ahead and get two of these m tokens i actually don't even know what they're called or what they are but you will need two of these tokens in order to go ahead and upgrade your phantom to level two it says upgrading this ability makes it much stronger against enemies during matches now that's very vague and i'm gonna be honest i don't exactly know what it does or how much stronger it gets but we're gonna figure it out in this video hopefully because the next question on your mind is gonna be how do i get those tokens well if you've gone ahead and already unlocked the phantom ability which means that you've already gotten the witch sword the ember sword as well as infinity well it's gonna completely change and infinity will be replaced with the token i'm gonna click on skip animation we're gonna spin a couple of these hopefully i can get the token it's very unlikely i got these spins actually from when we went after the halloween harvester because i had to complete the battle pass and i'm actually almost done with it again so let's see what we get here because it's gonna do it uh pretty instant we literally didn't land a single time that is upsetting i also have one more spin actually yeah it still didn't get it so that's definitely a tough one man i kind of want to buy some more spins come on 10 more spins no we spun an ember blade bro now to be fair these tokens are a one percent drop chance so yeah it's uh it's gonna be pretty difficult it's really unfortunate but my main focus right now is getting this sword so let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with wind up here we're going to activate the skip on the right hand side so that, that way i don't see the entire animation and we can just get this over with quick and then we're going to start making some spins here so let's see if we get lucky first 10 spins that we did and we got one of the swords that we need that is good that is very very good we didn't get it that time we need to at least get it five times and it is not looking good right now dude but there it is right there we unlocked it and if you notice instantly the image changed over here to now the two-handed so we need to get 
15 of every single one of them. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, if you want to see all of the other swords, you can go and check out my last video. Or realistically, you don't even have to. There's a preview inside of the spin wheels that you can see it for yourself. So it's really not that big of a deal. The one that's really important is the Elemental Master Blade. So this is the final look of the single-handed sword. This is probably going to be the most common one because it's definitely going to take a lot of grinding to have to go after 15 of these. Luckily, I don't think that this is like a timed event or anything like that but i'm gonna spin the rest of these and i'm gonna hopefully get these 15 so i'll be right back all right so after all those rolls i basically was left with 13 out of 15 for the wind 15 out of 15 for the water one but i actually have extra rolls i have a total of 10 extra rolls for that and then for lightning, I was actually like 12 out of 15, but I got so frustrated that I ended up just buying it with more Robux. And now we're 16 out of 15. So all I'm missing now is wind. And this is just, this is getting overwhelming at this point. I'm literally not able to get it, dude. And I'm getting frustrated. Just give me the two wind swords, please. Come on, give me two right here, please. I believe none come on all right we finally got another one but i'm still missing one more sword man please save me from this misery let's end it now yes let's go we got it the dual elemental master blade r.i.p all my robux man there it is right there we got it and boy does it look sick man now the only catch is, is that uh the update is sort of only available inside of private servers because the servers haven't all been reset but we do got training mode now so if we go to single player you can actually see that every single one of the maps including the halloween ones are inside of here right now so i'm going to click on just classic this is going to teleport us over to a single player lobby and it's actually super duper sick dude so as soon as you join in this menu is going to pop up on the right you can choose how many bots it is that you want in here i'm going to keep it at one just to show you guys a sword you can choose whether they stand still or they walk around i'm going to put mine to walk around and then you can set it to extreme i'm going to do extreme and then i'm going to close this menu and let's see how this goes also the devs are fully aware that the bot tends to kind of like walk towards the wall but anyways that's not the point that'll be fixed in hopefully a couple of hours in the meantime let's focus on how beautiful these swords are dude look at the animation when you hit it it looks so sick bro his bot's kind of cracked hold on a minute Wow, the bot's charging me. All right, well, I'm going to be honest. I don't think the bot is ever going to miss. I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure that impossible just keeps going until I miss. That was crazy. That lasted forever. Now, if we switch it over to normal, maybe expert. Let's switch it over to expert. And then we're going to increase this to maybe like, I don't know, we'll do five bots. Honestly, man, this feature in itself is really, really cool. It's going to make it super easy to showcase a lot of different skins. It's going to be awesome to showcase different abilities. Oh my God, what is happening here? No, nah, I'm not even a part of this. Like, they're not even trying to train me. They're just training each other. Look at this. <laughs> Like I mentioned before though, bots will be fixed probably in like the upcoming hours, especially that walking up against the wall stuff, that'll definitely be fixed. Nah, that bot's hacking. 
Now there is one other way that we can kind of get into a new server. Let me go check to see if this actually works. Okay, so we did find the new server where the elemental swords are in here. So both of my dual swords spawn in. The catch is, is that uh, I'm playing at 250 ping. This is going to be miserable. Yeah, dude, this feels horrible. The delay is crazy. Some of you in that one video that were telling me that you play at 500 ping, I don't even know how you guys do it. I give you nothing but props. That's just insane. Let's go. Even with having to click two business days in advance, we still somehow got that win. Let's go. Now, a couple of other things worth mentioning here. Uh, if you guys will notice, some UI features were actually changed as well. Uh, settings were moved up to the top and there is actually a full-blown menu in here now, also allowing you to change keybind. Same goes over for the quest menu. This has been completely redone, and you can actually go ahead and claim all of the different rewards now. For those of you still taking part in the Halloween spins, as well as obviously the Battle Pass and obviously the Witch Shop, at the very bottom here, you'll notice that there is now free rewards. So to my understanding, this kind of just keeps recycling over and over again. It's kind of like a time-based thing. So based on how long you are in the game, you will receive all of these different rewards as pumpkins. So that way you're able to afford some of the explosion spins as well as the Halloween spins whenever that pops up in the wood shop. One other thing that I also almost forgot to show you guys is the brand new emotes. So from those individual packs that they have, Water, Wind, and Lightning, you will receive different emotes. So we have the Breeze Commander, which kind of just, uh, he wiggles his arms in the air. I think there's supposed to be like some particle effect here. So maybe in the future, this will be kind of changed, but I could also be 100% wrong. I'm just kind of going based off of the image that's right here. The next one on the list is Thunder Controller. So this one actually does have the particles. His like arm starts getting like all full of, yeah, so I think for sure, Sure, the other one is going to have a particle at some point honestly maybe even when they do the full restart on all the servers last one is going to be the wave rider you pull out a surfboard and you start riding the surfboard in the air really really cool one but yeah man aside from all of that that is pretty much this week's update the biggest thing is, is obviously going to be the elemental and this brand new menu with the training mode as well as the voice chat that should be a big game changer for a lot of you guys and don't worry i will still be trying to get my hands on the phantom upgrade so i can bring you a video and show you what that looks like hopefully you guys went ahead and enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel because we're going to have videos all week long you don't want to miss that but before we end this video off i want to make a quick little shout out one of the developers by the name of Bad Reno is trying extremely hard to go ahead and get 10,000 followers on Roblox. He is actively one of the developers of Blade Ball. So if you guys can, at the very top of the comments, go to his profile, give him a follow, and let him know that Carbon sent you. I definitely want to get him to 10,000 followers. I feel like it'd be a pretty cool surprise. But I know that if you've made it this far into the video, it's definitely like my really, really core people. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's going to do it for this one. Like always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.